Ah, uh, there is nothing like listening to some Harry Potter podcast while you train up your team, which coincidentally I'm going to show you right now. So Cosmina here is level 35, look at her, psychic and fairy, but you already knew that. So she's got same moves, she's just a higher level. I don't really think anyone learned any new moves, so I might as well just show off their levels. Mufasa is level 36, uh, Prescott is also level 36. Uh, Myrtle's level 35, MS Paint is 34, and Grovile, Paladin, is level 34. And Grovile did learn a new move, actually. He learned Leaf Blade at level 29, and he's only two levels away from evolving. That's something I like about these, uh, these hat games. They usually have a bigger level curve, I guess, so you're higher levels earlier on in the game. So your starter is going to be evolving earlier, or... Well, I guess it's not technically my starter in this in this game, but he's a starter in a game, so might as well call him a starter. He's earned that right, so... Hey, welcome to the Stormy Gym! The leader, Leaf, uses grass types, and going up with an electric type move would be a bad idea. And that is exactly why I do not plan on using Thunderbolt in this match. MS Paint is going to have the experience share for a little bit. I'll probably swap it between, between these two because neither of them can really do much here. Uh, Mufasa and Cosmina are probably going to be my go-to guys. Just because uh, Cosmina has a really strong Psychic that hits neutral or super effective on most grass types. It'll hit super effective on those that are part poison, but I don't know if Leaf has any part poison. I'm not sure I remember. Well, it appears that there are going to be some in this gym, at least, so that'll be cool. It's all cool. We're having some roasted uh, Ivysaur for dinner here, I guess. Roasty Toasty with Mufasa, and here comes the Bay Leaf. The Bay Leaf. I'm gonna have to take this guy down, show him what's up. Somebody already took a bite out of it, uh, this Bay Leaf's leaf, I guess. I always like that aesthetic touch, the little uh, notch in the leaf there. And trying to learn Helping Hand. Ugh, I don't want to help anybody. Plus, that's a terrible move. No, I don't want to learn it. No, I don't want to learn it. There we go. I have to be patient in those parts. I just want to <laughs> zoom right past him and it sort of comes back to bite me. Uh, let's go to Cosmina for this one, I suppose, because uh, Mufasa's poisoned right now. And maybe a stampede is coming this way. You never know. Don't want to put him in harm's way or anything. So there we go. We defeated Jamie, and I'm going to have to use those <laughs> antidotes I stocked up on a long time ago. So let's face this girl here. Respect the power of plants. The power of plants. Gardener May. So I guess May decided to stop being a Pokemon trainer. She became a hippie and started caring about the earth and all that stuff, but... Oh, you're going for the counter? Well, let me just switch to a special move here, and... Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. You're just gonna keep flinching all the time. I can play your game here. I'm gonna psychic you to death. There you go. Boom. And MS Paint is up to level 35. Very nice. Tangela, uh... I would go out to Mufasa, but he's sort of incapacitated right now. There we go. No fair! I know, man. Life isn't fair. I'm gonna give the XP share to Paladin right here. There we go. And I have to heal up Prescott as well. Not Prescott, Mufasa. Here we go. I was just sort of looking at Prescott because he's so majestic right there. That Lucario. He still needs to learn better moves, though. He's got some terrible moves. Dead end! Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Your name is Sissy? I don't feel like that should actually be a legit name, but whatever. Whatever. I really wouldn't want that name. Alright, Leafeon. Um, can't remember what stat is better on Leafeon. If it's got better special defense or physical defense. I think it might be physical defense, but I'm not sure. Let's try an Ember to see how its special defense holds up. And I guess... I guess it is more of a physical wall then, because it took that Flame Wheel pretty nice. 
Mufasa has a uh, better physical attack than special attack. I might as well just head out of the gym to heal because I don't really want to waste all my healing items just facing the gym trainers because that's lame and impractical to mention that. Hey, don't trample the flowers. There aren't even any flowers in the road, Gardener Mary. And she's got a victory bell because she always wins the victories in every competition, I guess. Uh, might as well take this thing out. And yes, that is gonna that is going to be very irritating. Everything using sleep inducing moves. I'll have to check if I have any berries. I don't think we got any berries in this game, but whatever. And she says plants are living things, which I guess is true. It's sort of weird that, like, people who become vegetarians to not, like, kill the animals. I mean, plants are alive too, but I guess they're classified as a lower being than animals or something. I don't know. I mean, it's all alive, but whatever. And I don't have any berries. So that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to go and heal once again. But I'm breezing through these uh, trainers. Hopefully this battle won't be too bad. Now that I've trained up a fair amount. Although I feel like having Growlithe not evolved is gonna hurt me. Uh, nothing really up there, so... I have to continue this way. And I can't pick these flowers off the trees, that's too bad. It's sort of cool, it's almost like cherry blossoms. So we are at the gym leader, and this is my team. Um, I don't think I have any uh, worthwhile hold items at the moment. Yeah, it's not looking like it. So uh, we're just going to have to go into this and YOLO it. So I can't believe I said that, but whatever. Let's, let's move past that and just challenge the gym leader. A challenger? My name is Leaf. Do you like my garden? I've spent many hours pruning and sculpting everything here, but I wouldn't say no to a gym battle. Let's go. So he's being a Mario bro, saying let's go. I guess he's Luigi because he's so... Oh no, he's wearing red, so he must be Mario. So he's got a jump luff, and this thing is practically the devil. And I am not exaggerating, this thing is awful. It's probably going to put me to sleep here, to be honest. Or it's going to use Substitute. Uh, I guess I can deal with that, because I can just go for a Flame Wheel. And that'll destroy that Substitute. Eventually he'll run out of enough health to keep making Substitutes. And he's got that Leftovers, which is... Ooh, Sunny Day. You know what, this might actually be perfect, because this will bolster my Flame Wheel. Maybe this will take it out. Or not. I mean, I guess it is pretty bulky, but we burned it, so that is good as well. And, yeah, he's gonna use a Hyper Potion, but with that uh, Sun Out and the Burn, this thing isn't gonna be lasting much longer, so... It's a good... Th we got off to a good start here, and that Sleep Powder missed, so... It looks like luck is on our side in this battle. Who would have thought? So blow off all those petals and make a wish, because we just defeated the Dandelion Monster. Uh, so we're going out to a Venusaur here. I'm gonna switch over to Cosmina for this one. Because, uh, I don't think little Mr. Mufasa is gonna do too well against this bulky thing. And wow, Venusaur's got some hops. He just, like, straight up jumped in the air and put out his leg like a, like an exotic dancer or something. Well, I guess he does look pretty exotic. I mean, he's got those rainforest flowers on his back. But anyway, I'm gonna put this thing to sleep. It's a good thing they hadn't uh, instilled the change in this game where you can't really use the spore moves and stuff on grass types. So that makes them a lot harder to deal with. But anyway, we're going to calm mind up a few times here. Just because I think that will give us a pretty good advantage against this Venusaur. And this Psychic should be enough to KO in one hit. There we go. So Venusaur is down for the count. And Paladin is one level away from evolution. Agility? Nah, you're fast enough. 
you don't have to go fast all the time like Sanic does. So, uh, a Tangrowth. I'm already uh, pretty bulked up here on the special side. My intellect been hitting the books, so I'm just gonna psychic this thing and see how much damage it takes. Oh, nice, a crit! So Tangrowth is gonna go down without a problem, and Leafeon. Uh, sort of want to finish this off with Mufasa. So let's go over to Mufasa. I'm gonna use that Ember since uh, we found out that these things are more physically bulky. And swords dance. Oh goodness, the dance of a thousand swords. Some ancient ritual or something. So. Oh, it's got leftovers. Might as well go for the flame wheel just because. And oh goodness, that is gonna do a, quite a significant amount of damage. But I think with that, Cosmina can come in and go for the psychic and the kill. At least I'm hoping it'll kill. And there we go! Cosmina hitting that level 3-6, the big 3-6, and Paladin gets some experience as well. We have defeated Leaf with actually no troubles at all. He was easier than Sparky, so that's something. It shows we're making progress. I know how to take defeat graciously. You won fair and square, so you've earned the STEM badge. Congrats! And we've got the STEM Badge! Yes! The STEM Badge will allow you to use the HM Move Strength outside of battle. I want you to take this too for being such a good sport. TM22, is that gonna be Solar Beam? Yep, Solar Beam. The move he never got to use because I just destroyed his little dandelion monster thing. But it will activate instantly in sunlight. I recommend you try for the Icicle Badge next at the North Coast Town Gym get to North Coast Town by going through Stratus Mountain. Thanks again for a great battle. So we have succeeded and uh, his jump bluff wasn't too much of a problem. Oh, my cell phone is ringing. What? Hello, Josh. I'm kind of in a tight spot now. I found Team Fusion and their boss is here. Can you come to Mount Stratus and lend a hand? I don't know if I can take all these grunts by myself. And you've proven yourself more than capable. Please hurry. And with that urgent message to come and help Blake, I think it's a good place to end off the episode. So, yeah, we're not going to go help him. We're not good friends with him. We're not old chums like that. But anyway, next time we are going to be heading into Stratus Mountain uh, to help Blake and hopefully to reach North Coast Town. So I will see you all then. Until then, this is Math Pikachu signing off. Take care, and I will catch you all later, guys. Gotta catch them all. Peace out.